All right, so now we're gonna move on with our program and Carol McQuarrie is going to discuss volunteer <laughs> recruitment successes. Thank you, Lynn. Um, it's, it's been very gratifying to see the, the new tutors coming in, even in this time when we are only seeing each other online. Um, and it's, uh, I'd like to share a little bit about what's been going on with the volunteer recruitment. You know that we have information meetings every other month, and they're on Zoom, and they've been going really well. And I think part of that um, is due to the wonderful planning and the work that's behind the scenes that Lainey and Satina do to get everything set up. Um, it's been really, really wonderful to see how many people come to the meetings and how enthusiastic they are and the, the different talents and experiences that they bring. So it looks like um, since March, we've had 44 attendees at the information meetings and 36 applications. And I'm just, I think that is just really fantastic. <clears throat> um, these are for tutoring and non-tutoring positions. And so we're really um, grateful that so many people who came to the meetings were really inspired to join the, um, the council and to be part of what we do. So how did they hear about us? Now that's kind of interesting. When I joined this organization, most of our um, outreach to potential tutors was on Penny Saver, which no longer exists. But that seemed to be one of the best ways we could get the word out. And we were really upset when it folded. But now, oh my gosh, it is so different. So this is a new day. Um, we used Volunteer Match and, and that was a consistent success. Although we found that we were getting people from um, not just you know other cities or other states, but other countries. <laughs> and that was kind of an interesting thing. Uh, there are some issues even with time zones and things. So that wasn't, that wasn't a total success, but there were so many people who, who saw us on there. So we felt it was a really good step. Um, then uh, this past time, I'm talking about just the uh, information meeting we had in October. We had several people who heard about us on Nextdoor because we were putting some little blurbs on that in the different neighborhoods. And that was really gratifying to see that those worked. And also we had some people who said that they came because they saw these amazing digital billboards in the city of Torrance. And if you just uh, look to Rob Callender, he's one of these little boxes here, Rob. Uh, <laughs> a shout out to you because that really made a difference. It's wonderful to see that those new outreaches are actually working and that uh, people are coming in as a result of them. So that was, uh, that was a real, real success. So I have to say that when I joined this, in, uh, this organization, it was mostly retired people. Um, and I mean, that was nice. I, I really liked it. But I have to say that over the years, we've had more and more younger volunteers, people who are still working, people who um, have an assortment of skills, especially with, with technology. And this has made an enormous difference um, for us. So we have all learned so much as a result of their being part of our organization. We've learned about Zoom and how to use it effectively with, with our students, screen sharing and you know uh, different things that you can do to work uh, online with students. And I have to do something here because I just really like it. So, you know, um, you, can, you can do uh, all sorts of things and it's fun. <laughs> I just have to, you know, show my, my pet dinosaur here just for <laughs> a second. But, but uh, we're, we're not, uh, you know, we're not the super techie ones, but we know uh, enough skills that we can really uh, work with our students. And that's been a fun thing. I was using uh, backgrounds and filters with my student uh, just, just this past week. Um, Anyway, I, I wanted to just give a shout out to um, another of our newer members, Satina. Um, and you heard from her just a little bit ago. Satina, along with Lainey, has been really um, instrumental in making the whole, you know, recruitment and information process work so smoothly. 
So they make sure that there are, you know, the, the people who RSVP, um, they, they're, they're on a, a roster, that I have the roster, that, that everything is set up for the meeting, that there's a follow-up after the meeting is over to get applications to people. And it's all so smooth. And I'm just really um, grateful for their work. And um, it's, just, uh, it's just been a great thing. Um, and Lainey, oh my gosh. See, now this is a good example of how great Zoom is. Lainey isn't in the South Bay working with us anymore. She's not even in our state anymore. She's in North Carolina, but she can be here with us this morning because um, with Zoom, um, geography doesn't matter. So um, that's, that's a, a really pretty good thing. Except and it's it, afternoon here. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> and I was aware that sometimes when we were having meetings, uh, we were we were fine because it was early evening, but for for Lainey, she was staying up extra late. <laughs> so yeah, time zones make a difference. But just as far as the volunteer recruitment, this has been fabulous. I am so encouraged to see people coming in with not only um, tech skills but enthusiasm, um, experience working with um, with people who speaking another language, uh, teaching experience, just so many things that we can use. Now that doesn't mean that everybody becomes a tutor because they come in with skills that help us in other ways with marketing and technology and, and uh, online resources and all of that is fabulous. So um, I just, just wanna say thank you to all of those new people who are coming in um, for all of you who are recent, um, you know, uh, members. And uh, I just look forward to this continuing and uh, the influx of new, new people to help us. And then all we need to do is, uh, you know, uh, extend our efforts into student recruitment too. And we're just going to be at such a dynamic uh, organization. It's, it's really exciting. So thank you for, uh-huh. Oh, sorry. In in relation to the student recruitment, you had mentioned the penny saver and how how it hurt when that folded. Yeah. Uh, thanks to Charles, we may have actually found uh, something that could serve as sort of, if not a replacement, at least kind of a bridge. It's a, a Spanish language classified uh, uh, paper, and we might be. It's kind of pricey, but but it could well be worth it. Okay. Well, see another uh, instance when. Someone new coming in is bringing something to us that we didn't have and can really benefit us. So great. Charles, we look forward to looking into that and seeing if that can be a way to, to bring in students. And thank you for that, Rob.